Hi Aries, this is your reading for the 28th to the 4th of October and I hope you will enjoy it. Remember it's a general reading. Uh, if you, it doesn't resonate with you, then look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And thank you very much for being so loyal and liking and sharing the beautiful videos. I'm glad you are enjoying them, but I'm doing a different theme this week. I'm using um, the Everyday Witches Tarot and the Pagan Ways and the Queen of the Moon Oracle, as we are having two moons in October and also because of Halloween and because of the autumn, the fall equinox and the Marbon festival, the harvest uh, time for Wiccan and Pagans. And that is also related to the Witches series, of course, which is up and running. The second uh, episode is out today, or the third, and also um, because lots of beautiful things are happening are happening Halloween the blue moon because there's two moons one on the first and one on the 31st of October so that's why I brought in the goddess or the queen of the moon oracle deck an answer of the angels so let's get started with your reading and oh sorry before I'm um, sorry I don't mean to exclude the new people that might have landed on this channel welcome and I hope you enjoy the readings please like and subscribe and hit the bell on all and please remember set your settings uh, correctly in YouTube and in your mobile device if you don't know how to do that there is a video showing you how to do that on the channel as well we start off with first of all with the five of wands and like I said this is the 28th to the 4th of October so you this card to me is uh, competition you might be in competition with somebody else it could be at work and there might be differences it could be about a hobby or getting together or throwing a party um, so there might be arguments or disagreements on how to do that and where to do that but this card also means to me disagreements but the short-lived or arguments but short-lived as it is the five of wands it's not the five of swords and it's good to be in competition okay because that keeps us on our toes and like we have the five of swords here oh five of swords well there might be arguments walk away from other people's drama don't get stuck in their brew um, because you don't need drama our Millibel is just come in so that must be a sign Millibel Millie is my little mascot you see her when I go live my dog and she is saying it's okay don't worry so don't get it stuck in somebody else's drama and I said brew too and like I'm getting a saying here there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians so make sure that it goes harmonious it's good to have competition it's good to voice your opinion um, only if it is of use nobody will be the winner if it gets into a big fight you will only lose a friend okay so think before you speak and watch your intonation walk away from other people's drama if somebody is too dominating or pushy walk away and if they start saying well 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 then you say I'll talk to you when you've calmed down okay on Wednesday we have the ace of swords boom your walking away is doing the trick they are realizing they are wrong that you will not speak to them um, if they are going to start shouting and be antagonizing or dominant okay there's ways of doing things talk the right way the proper intonation the right behavior not being aggressive not being like threatening you have victory as you've got the ace of swords the ace of swords means that um, you have victory you've won even if you're in a judicial situation you will get what you deserve okay and you know how to talk you have the gift of the gab because 
that's what the swords stand for you will be able to talk again start a new conversation and keep it in an easy flow in a champion way because you're going to get your point across you've been patient and the communication will start afresh okay as an ace is a new beginning okay what does it say underneath intent yes intent your intentions are pure and good so don't worry you might even start a new study and it's going to or you might even uh, start get, um, they also stand for justice clarity honesty truth the truth will come out if somebody is being negative about you or spreading rumors about you the truth will come out and you will get your justice and so will they okay it could be even that uh, if you're starting a new study and you're gathering more wisdom you might be specializing in things uh, in your talent or in your career so that will bring in more money wow look at this if you have a court case and it is a damage claim or something like that um, you will win and you will get your money because you've got the ultimate card the ten of pentacles happy families you'll be celebrating with family and friends there could be a reunion between family and friends because there might have been a rift about an inheritance or about money you will get past it okay you'll be the winner you will get what you deserve and so will they so if there has been a rift there will be new communication with family or friends the 10 is an ending and also where there is an ending there is a new beginning a 10 becomes a 1 in numerology so there is a new beginning you might even be buying a house you might uh, had a rift uh, about buying a certain place but um, it's come back on the market or uh, it's, it's I don't know um, you've got your point across and now you've got your money perhaps you might have had uh, a promotion or you finally got a job and you applied for a bank loan and you've got the money perhaps you've won the lottery or perhaps somebody in the family gave you a loan or a gift Wow you might be expecting handing the family as we see all the family around and it doesn't have to be a child or pregnancy it can also be an animal a dog or a cat lovely at the end of the week you've got the Lord and the Lord is the Emperor in traditional tarot and he is an advisor he knows the letter of the law he can delegate very well he can listen to everybody's point of view this could be the judge that will give you your victory Ooh. Uh, or you might uh, you might seek advice as the Emperor represents a mature man uh, could be also a professional a mature man like a father figure perhaps a father figure might be giving you money to buy your house give you a gift like a deposit to buy your house so that you can get that loan the um, uh, the Lord also represents Aries so there could be an Aries or you could be seeking advice from a lawyer and the lawyer um, will uh, advise you or a bookkeeper that will advise you um, on something that will deliver you the utmost or the ultimate price the money Wow it's this, this is a beautiful reading actually Aries and you could be starting something new or if you could be you've got the nine of Pentacles here you will be starting something new perhaps a business that will bring in big returns because we've got the nine of Pentacles and the ten of Pentacles and we've got the victory so you will be able to uh, relax a little bit more in a, a, a voluptuous more stable financial situation 
you see that she's relaxing so perhaps you might be hiring somebody else to be the advisor in your company or in your business affairs financial affairs and they will do the investments and that will bring big returns amazing you can relax now and uh, nine is an ending a new beginning boom 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 you might have felt out left out because you were busy working really really hard trying to get um, justice perhaps or more wisdom so that you will get the long-term and stable life that you wished for and you took advice from your teacher or your mentor uh, or somebody else that said go and do this that will bring in big money in the long run um, and that is also durable and for a long term Wow, you are back in relaxing so you might be uh, you might have felt out of sorts but now you've got the time and the choice to go back and meet your family and friends again so that you won't feel left out okay learn from the past uh, make sure to to tell people that you're busy studying or in or doing something and as soon as you're free you will join them again because it is okay to be ambitious but if you reach the top and you uh, didn't pay attention or make time for the family or friends it is being alone and that is not nice so make sure that the people know that you love them and that you care about them we've also got the ace of cups here so you're coming in big time after being left felt left out perhaps you might have realized that you could get help from an institution or a municipality like tax returns boom 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 advisor bookkeeper wow you did the study and you uh, might get a grant from an institution and that that's this card because usually the five of pentacles has the window of a church and the church is an institution but he's also an institution perhaps you got uh, advice from somebody that you could get help from such and such institution or municipality whilst you were learning to advance yourself and perhaps you had to pay for your study and now you can get it back from the institution you've got two three cards that represent institutions I know that once you've passed your a study that sometimes you can get it back from the income tax or from a municipality it depends which country um, you live in in Holland or in the Netherlands there is such a, a, a um, grant that you have to pay for your study uh, whilst you're studying but once you've passed your exam and you can show your certificate the um, the uh, uh, government the municipalities will give you a gift and that is your grant money they will pay it back you've got the ace of cups so you are starting something definitely new that you're passionate about wow or you could be meeting a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces awesome so just to recap you could be meeting an, a, a Gemini Libra or an Aquarium you'll have victory big money is coming in a stable home life a stable future for long term uh, you might be seeking advice or you uh, or you've sought advice and you will be finishing off uh, this situation as you've got endings and new beginnings you are, you can let your passion or your love go in this new project or relationship now we have we've got two cards uh, and that's wrong uh, well 
they are here. I was supposed to get a, 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 a lilac a angel feather card. You've got two of the Queen of Moon. Well, I just have to take it. Sorry. Um, well, we'll take this card first, and that's activate the angelic chakra. That is your third eye. The angels would like to assist you with activating. Uh, activating the fifth eye chakra known as the angelic chakra you can wear lavender uh, you can uh, oil, burn oils you can wear the color you can meditate on the color and this will help you to open up your spirituality and gain your spiritual knowledge the water signs do listen to their intuition and can be very very um, spiritual you could be meeting one of these people or seek advice from a spiritual person and we've got number 30 here and that is purity look for the simplest and the cleanest solution under your motives for doing what you are doing be as clear as possible in your communication well that is the ace be as clear. Walk away from drama. Okay? Don't go and get it all muddled up by arguing. Okay. And then we have hunger. You are hunger. You are hungry. You want something and you're going for it. And you can see that back in the reading. And you're going to get your returns. You are going to get your money. You are going to get your goal. You will have your victory. Feed the good and hope within. There will always be a lean part of the cycle. Prosperity will come. Do not let your hunger blindly di dictate your actions in, uh, entirely. Do it with a pure heart and a pure mind and with good intentions. That is what this card meant. So don't do it out of vengeance. Okay? because you will win, you will have the victory. Learn to compromise. There you go. So learn to compromise. You will get your justice. Beautiful card. Lovely reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care and have a wonderful week.